right, guys, it is the next day after I vacuumed and stain extracted my Civic. It all came out really well, but I'm sure some of you detailers know that whenever a stain is on there for a very long time, like years and years and years, especially baking in the summer heat, some of the stains don't come out, so some of the stains on this seat remain. It had a kind of a, a weird smell, not a bad smell, but kind of like a somebody put baking soda on the, the floor mat, which isn't necessarily, like I said, a bad smell, but just to get it out. My next step in my detail is, well, first off, I'm waiting for bulbs, the heater and AC controls. Um, I'm waiting, both of the bulbs were burnt out, so I ordered some, so those should be here tomorrow. So I'm going to replace those. After I replace those, I can put uh, that back up in my radio, and then I can put back all the, the trim panels. See, the, the center console is missing. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Vacuum, there was like tons of dog hair in here and everything. Today's project is going over all of the doors, or both doors. The dash, which uh, if you watch my other videos, you know that I have a, actually a dash cover. Uh, that's what this Velcro is for. So I have a dash cover that goes on there. I already vacuumed that, but I'm going to leave it off for now. I even took off the, the vents, and look, look at all this crud in here. That is really nasty. So I'm gonna get a throwaway kind of microfiber cloth and get my all-purpose cleaner and just completely clean all this out. Actually clean it, then I can actually go over it with like a UV protectant dressing. Then if I lift, bring the steering wheel down, look at all that dust, look I already kind of tested it out right there. Just tons of dust, tons of just crud in there. So. Oh, I don't know when, if ever, all this stuff has been cleaned, so it's definitely in need. So let's get to it. All right, I'm gonna start at the on the doors, just spraying it with my all-purpose cleaner. This is actually uh, it's called Nonsense. It's from Chemical Guys, and this is diluted 20 to one. Then I'm just gonna take my microfiber towel. Actually, look all that crud right there. I'm gonna roll down the windows too. I also have a brush. So look at that. That was already looking 10 times better. I'm gonna get my brush and clean in there. Look at all this. Done one pass. Kind of have to give it some pressure to get this old, old gun custom sitting on there. You know how people rest their arms, which I do too, rest their arms on this part of the door frame. Yeah, so this is just a lot of body oils and ugh, dead skin and who knows what else. But yeah, look at that. It's already looking so much better. All right, to get in this little vent here. All right, to get in this little vent here, I sprayed my all-purpose cleaner. This gets really good down there in the crevice, crevices to where my microfiber cloth can't reach. I can also come at it from this angle. Look at that. Just dry it off with the mic microfiber cloth. details. So much cleaner. Sometimes the brush does work better than just a microfiber cloth. Just kind of agitating it. 
and get a lot of stains off. Then just wipe it down with the microfiber cloth. Look at that. It's great. I bet I can need to do in there. Let's see. Yeah. It's kind of hard to reach places. brushes are definitely a help. So you get all the way around the edges. Very, very good thing to have. Then just wipe it down with the cloth. Look at that. Clean. All that crud that was there, it's all gone. You know, it's amazing what a simple wipe down can do. All right, y'all, I've been waiting a long time for this. This is my old windshield washer fluid reservoir cap. As you can see, it's highly degraded. And I have a brand new OEM Honda one here. The reason why this is so exciting for me is because this is basically one of the last OEM parts I have whenever I bought the bulk of all my OEM parts to restore this engine. And this is just kind of a little, like a $2.50 dress up part that I bought that I thought would look really nice. It's gonna go right there. And then I also have, this is the little plastic rod that holds up the hood. So I'm gonna take out this old one and I have a nice OEM one for that as well. It's the little things that make the difference. Whenever I bought these parts, I always said I would put these last two parts on whenever I'm almost, you know, basically completely done. There's that one looking nice. About to put this one in. I think it just snaps in there. There we go. Look at that. Just the little things make all the difference. Brand new Honda OEM parts. Nice and fresh. All right guys, I finally got the inside of the vents pretty clean, not spotless, but pretty clean. Let's see if you can see down there. Yep, that's the tunnel all the way to the other vent. I just have to put the cleaned vents back in. Hey, what's up, y'all? I am actually polishing my 91 Civic. I'm starting out with the compound. At first, I started out with this Meguiar's M105, and I quickly noticed that it dusts a lot. Uh, it's probably hard to see, but there's a lot of dusting on my windows, and... It made splotches, it dried up. Um, I've used this stuff before, and the same thing happened to me. I don't like it. Uh, I'm not a fan of M105. Uh, maybe I'm not using it 100% correctly, but I get great results whenever I use another polish or another compound such as this, Wolfgang's Total Soil Remover. So here, I had to scrub, or I had to buff with my high quality microfiber towel for at least five minutes just to get all the dried residue. And I even tried lubricating it with some quick detailer and that wouldn't even get it off. So that was a huge pain using that Meguiar's M105. But then I switched over, I got a new pad. I'm using orange cutting pads to my Total Soil Remover. And that is looking much better. Hardly any dusting at all. And I mean, this paint is uh, about 28 years old, so it's not perfect. I'm not looking for 100% correction. I'm just trying to get the haze out. So there you can see tons of swirls in the paint right there on the left side of the screen. But as I pan over, there they are. They go away, right there. So you can see the transition, all those swirls and scratches and stuff. 
and then it goes over to here. The paint is, is the original paint, so it is pitted. Some etching here and there, so I do not think it's gonna be perfect. And also, after I do this compound step, I'm also going to do a polishing step or a finishing glaze. So this is not even done. I'm doing a two-step polish. I'm taking off a bunch of old oxidized paint, extreme scratches. I mean, this has, the scratches are so hardcore on this thing that, I mean, the compound isn't even getting out and I don't wanna go any more aggressive. So it still has some, definitely some imperfections in the paint, but what I'm talking about is, is the difference. Look at the difference. As I said, between right there, look at the light on the paint and then follow the light. Boom, no reflection, no gloss, no anything right there. Just haze, no reflection at all. And then you move over to the compounded side. There you go. Honda.